What is up, Moment family? And welcome to the Myth Filmmaker's Guide for your smartphone. In this seven part series, Caleb and I will go through the process of creating the film on your phone. Things like pre-production, gear, location scouting, storyboarding, lighting, shooting techniques, audio, and editing. You are going to see us work on this whole process from coming up with an idea to making the final film and everything in between. So this is episode one. Joshua and I currently have no idea what this film's actually gonna be about yet. So that's what this whole episode is about. Ways to get inspired, come up with an ideas, figure out what your story is, and some practical tips on coming away with a solid idea. Now, before getting the gear out and start filming, you need a story. You need a concept to help drive your imagery. Now, how do you even do that? And where does that inspiration come from? Well, the first thing I like to do is I like to ask myself, what am I interested in? What am I passionate about? Those are the types of things that are going to pique my interest and allow inspiration to kind of flow. That's how I kind of see it. Um, also, inspiration could come from, you know, listening to music, but we're gonna get to that a little bit more, but also watching films. Think about the things that you watch. Think about the stories that you enjoy, the drama, the action, the comedy, the sappy romance. Think about those things that pique your interest when you're scrolling through Netflix or watching a film on Disney Plus or anything like that. Those things you might wanna be aware of because that's actually gonna help lead your interest and also find other inspiration. This is important because this allows you to be more invested into the world and character development that you wanna build for your film. Being invested is some, so much more important than you think because now you really want to do this. You have a, the energy, the eye, the drive to create something that's worth watching for yourself and for us. Another thing I like to do is change my location. So physically change your location. If you're sitting in the same room all the time or you're inside, like we have all been for the last year, um, go for a walk, go for a bike ride, maybe take a shower. Here's the thing though. If you go to a new location, bring some notepads with you, bring a way to write down your ideas because the key tip, the key takeaway is to write those ideas down immediately. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, in that daisy sleep phase, I think of an idea or I have a creative thought. It might be garbage, but it might be good, but you wanna immediately write it down. So have a way, whether that's your phone and your notes app or some type of notes app or physical pen and paper, write your ideas down immediately because then you can have those to look back on and who knows what you might randomly get inspired by by changing your location. So another way to gain inspiration for a film is listening to music, believe it or not. Uh, oftentimes I listen to a lot of different tracks from just typical, you know, pop music, but all the way to this instrumental music that have a story behind it. A lot of those types of songs help paint a story in my head, which allows me to create little nuggets of uh, character developments or situations that I like to write down. That being said, this leads me to the sponsor of this video, Musicbed. I personally enjoy using Musicbed, especially the app that they have. This allows me to be on the go, hands-free, not tied down to a laptop or a desk, scrolling through music. Oftentimes, I listen to a lot of different artists while I'm driving, and that combination of driving and listening to high-quality cinematic songs just creates this explosion of inspiration for me. And what I like to do, too, is listen to curated playlists. So my go-tos are experimental instrumentals, abstract beats, and ambient. I gain a lot of inspiration from songs that have a lot of texture, and you can find a lot of that on the Musicbed app. Another way to get those ideas flowing is just a good old fashioned brainstorm. So whether that's with your filmmaking buddy that you're gonna make this film with, like Joshua here, or it's with a fellow creative or a friend of yours or a parent, someone that you trust and has some good creative ideas that you know you can talk with and they can just help the conversation develop. Good boy. Do you, do you like this idea? I like to schedule like a 20 to 30 minute brainstorm call where all you do is just kind of spitball ideas. They can be bad ideas or good ideas, but you never know what might come out of a small brainstorm and that might be the little thing in your film 
or the little plot line or the subject or the character, or the location, one thing that might help you shape the rest of the story. So schedule some time for a brainstorm, hop on a Zoom call, hop on FaceTime, and get with someone that you can bounce some ideas back and forth with with, wow, forth, with. And get someone on the phone that you can bounce some ideas back and forth with. This call with Joshua was actually really, really helpful. And I think we actually came up with some really solid ideas to start our filmmaking process for this short film. And but what another funny part of the montage could be yeah, like like a jump rope, a running thing, like any kind of a fitness, but like definitely old school, like sweatpants vibe. And yeah, then also yeah. like I could have my like my beard a little bit more grown out and I could shave like a good mustache. Like I yeah. like in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now you have an idea for your story, but now how do you write the structure of this story? Well, I have three simple acts to follow. Acts meaning stages of your film. And this is literally the foundation to most films that you've watched. <laughs> Act one, this is gonna help set the scene of your world, introduce your character, and what we like to say, sow the seeds of conflict. Who is the character? What do they want? What are the obstacles? Those are the three things you wanna focus on. And when we say obstacle, what is the conflict? which moves on to act two. Now in act two, you'll start to see how the character is going to respond to the conflict. What is it that's in their way that's preventing them from what they want, <laughs> which, will be, which we established in the first act. And then what we call that is basically the rise in action. And the rise in action leads to the climax, the breaking point of which our character faces whatever the challenges, challenges they have. And as that rise in action happens, we, got, we get to see how they develop as a person, how they develop in response to the conflict. Are they going to face it head on? Are they going to run away from it? All that leads, again, to the climax. And then once that breaking point happens, there's the falling action. Uh, and that allows uh, us to see what's, how does the character act afterwards, after they try to get what they want, whatever that is, um, what's the response? Is it going to be a happy ending? Is it going to be a sad ending? Is it, going to be, it can be so many different things. You've watched a lot of movies. You, you get what I'm trying to say. And in Act 3, we'll get to see how all that resolves, and that's where the story typically ends. Now, let me repeat this again. This is just a basic general overview. There is so much more complexity to this. But if you have this knowledge of Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, you can have a really strong, compelling story, whatever that might look like. Here are some YouTubers that I highly recommend following when it comes to story writing, screenplay, just overall movie analysis. Uh, Lessons from the Screenplay is one of my favorite YouTube channels to watch. His content is so rich, it's so dense. He just walks you through how certain stories are formed, certain uh, characters are developed. It's just really uh, inspiring for me. It can be overwhelming because there's a lot, but I highly recommend watching and just understanding how things are made to develop a story. Uh, the second YouTuber is Nerdwriter. Similar concept, a little bit different style, um, but worth watching. And lastly, Every Frame of Painting. Now, I loved watching his content as well. Movie analysis are just one of my favorite things to consume on YouTube. So this is a great way to start to find inspirations because watching a movie, sometimes it might be very daunting. It's like, I'm, I will never get to that point. But watching a YouTube channel like these uh, allows you to see the inner workings of how a film is made and you can just simplify that to make your film. Okay, so I hope those tips were helpful. And just to recap, um, again, this is just part one of this seven, six to seven part series that we're doing, taking you through the process of how we go about making a short film, specifically on our phone for our film festival. So we won't be entering this into our film festival because we can't, because we're hosting it, but I hope it inspires you all to get out shoot something and submit it to our film festival. It's gonna be a ton of fun. So tip number one is notice what you're drawn to or notice what attracts you because typically those are the things that you're gonna gravitate more towards and be more passionate about in your storytelling anyway. Tip number two was change your location to get some of those new ideas stirring, especially if you're in some type of writer's block or creative block. Just get outside and look up into the sky. Tip number three was to get inspired by music, and now I think we can all be so inspired by music, but shout out to Musicbed for sponsoring this video again, using their website and their app. Finding good quality music has never been easier. Love using their app for 
inspirational music because sometimes that will help also just set the mood for your film and you'll know right away like the style or the feel of it. Tip number four, Joshua broke down basic story structure. So using that to actually form the plot line, form the story structure of your film, super helpful before you go out and actually shoot. And tip number five was to have that creative brainstorm. Again, these tips are not in order. They're just kind of what we came up with that we actually use um, when we're trying to come up with our story, get inspired and think of what to make for this short film. So I hope you enjoyed this first video in this series for our film festival. Stay tuned for the next part of this series. It's gonna be all about gear, everybody's favorite topic. We're gonna to go through all the gear we're planning to use for our short film, but yeah, submit to our film festival. Links below for that. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, and hit that like button because it helps the algorithm and everything. All right, bye.